Hello, Year 11. Today's lesson was about global climate change. I'm just going to whiz through the answers and make sure you kind of understand what you need to consider when we're talking about this subject. So to begin with, um, we talked a little bit about the things that cause climate change. So in the past, there have been lots of changes. There have been increases and decreases in temperature. We've had ice ages and things like that. And you were asked to click on this YouTube link and watch a video. And sort of the summary of the video was exactly that, that we've had changes in the past, but the current change scientists believe is caused by human activity, um, mainly burning fossil fuels to produce carbon dioxide and an increase in methane from things like rice fields and, um, you know, having lots of cows and then passing wind. And the, some of the consequences that would come along with these uh, this change that doesn't seem to be kind of changing back again. So I hope you watch that video. Okay. What is the scale of global climate change? So it's a major cause uh, of the increase in the global temperature. And we've seen before that an increase in the amount of greenhouse gases will cause an increase in average temperatures. This means that areas are going to be at a net, well, certainly close to sea level. And we've got to remember in Britain, we're surrounded by sea. So we're at risk of uh, flooding, sea levels rising, storms becoming more severe. We've seen changes in our weather patterns uh, just over the last few years in your lifetime. Okay, so thinking about the causes of global warming, human activities, what kind of human activities may add to global warming? So in this text here, in the second sentence down, it says burning fossil fuels, deforestation, which is cutting down trees, an increase in agriculture. So that means clearing land for farming, food production, things like that, and rubbish decomposition or big problem at landfill, producing kind of gases that are contributing to this. What kind of effects will this have? So it mentions in the text sea levels rising. This can cause flooding and increase coastal erosion, more frequent and severe storms changes in the amount, the timing and the distribution of rainfall. Also, if you watch the video, it's going to affect uh, crop yields. So we'll probably end up with less crop yield yields if we have more flooding and more storms. That's going to damage the crops. An increase in desertification. This is where land becomes more desert. So deserts are kind of spreading as these issues are happening. Glaciers melting as the temperature increases. Okay, so those are the kinds of things we need to be mentioning. Scientists are concerned that if the average global temperature rises by two degrees, the changes will be irreversible. So we're not talking about short term weather patterns where, for example, this January, we've had lots of snow and then it's just disappeared. It's gone and it's been hot and sunny the next day and then it's snowed again the day after. They're concerned that climate change is a long term change in the global climate and it's going to have big effects on weather patterns that follow those short cycles. What evidence do we have? So scientists have contributed lots and lots of evidence. In the video at the start, it talked about peer review and it talked about how scientists like to check each other's data, but also a little bit how uh, global warming is reported a lot in the newspapers and this doesn't need to be peer reviewed. So it can be quite biased and it can be quite simplified, meaning that, that perhaps people don't understand the evidence. Okay. One of the biggest concerns that, that scientists have or that the biggest indicator they're using is this uh, retreat of the glaciers. And glaciers are mountain reserves of fresh water that is frozen. So they're concerned that if the mass of this water decreases, then without the fresh water, animals and plants and human life is going to be in jeopardy. Also, as these glaciers melt, sea level will rise and land will be flooded. Environmental concerns of climate change. So this was really about your opinion. What do you believe? What do you think? Whose responsibility is it? I know that a lot of people from your generation, Greta Thunberg is a perfect example. She believes that the adults need to make the changes. The government think they are making the changes. So whose responsibility is it? What do you think? And why do you think it? And then effects. Explain how each of these physical changes that are taking place will affect the way we live. So temperature stress for humans and wildlife. Global warming is increasing the average Earth's temperature and this is causing problems for people in the Arctic where their glaciers are melting. Some areas will become much drier, which is desertification. 
as weather patterns change. Water stress for humans and wildlife, so the lack of fresh water. Global warming will cause glaciers, which are the source of fresh water, to melt. And along with the change in rainfall patterns, this will limit the availability of fresh water. If we run out of fresh water, we will not be able to survive as easily. It's going to take a lot of effort to get fresh water from seawater every time we want a little drink or a cup of tea. Changes in the food production capacity in some regions. So as temperatures rise and weather patterns change, such as rainfall, the capacity to grow crops may decrease. So this was mentioned in the video at the start as well. As countries get warmer, you might be able to grow different kinds of crops. They might survive better, but things that we have now might disappear. They may become extinct because they can't survive in the change of temperature. And then thinking about the distribution of wildlife species. So I mentioned this in the video as well. As weather patterns and plant distributions change, animals will inevitably be affected. Species may die out. So if they're in Arctic areas and they're losing their land and their home and their habitats, they may die out. They become extinct. And then other birds, for example, in Britain, fly south for the winter. They won't need to fly south for the winter. It'll be warm here, which means there'll be more birds here. They'll be eating more food. Some of those will then have to compete and some will become uh, well, there'll be a reduction in their population. And then another example that was mentioned in the video, which is quite important, I think, was things like insects increasing the area that they live in. So as Britain becomes warmer, animals such as mosquitoes, so an insect called a mosquito causes or spreads a disease called malaria. And if Britain starts to become warm enough for mosquitoes to migrate into, they can then bring with them things like malaria, which is going to cause problems for our human population as well. Okay, and there was a follow-up task in today's lesson where you had to choose one of these bullet points and you had to do some research and you had to prepare a presentation or write a newspaper article. So you were aiming for one side of A4, but to complete this lesson, you needed to do this follow-up task as well. Just answering the questions on the slides is not going to get you full marks on this task. But thank you for your hard work and I'll see you in the next video.